In this video, I am going to teach you a very easy ICT trading strategy. This strategy is one of my favorite trading strategy and I am going to break down step by step process so you can learn everything that I am going to teach you in this video and execute this strategy perfectly. Let's get into this video. So for this strategy, I recommend sticking to 4 hour and daily time frame. So let's assume that we are on the 4 hour time frame and we have these two candles. So what you need to understand that the second candle, whether it's a bullish candle or a bearish candle, it must not be bigger than the previous candle so we have two candles so here the second candle is definitely smaller than the first candle but a very important point here that the high of second candle it should not be bigger or higher than the high of first candle similarly the low of second candle it should not be bigger or you could say lower than the low of first candle so it means that the whole second candle it needs to be inside the whole first candle and once you wait for this second candle to close what you want to do is you want to mark the high of this candle and you want to mark the low of this candle and once you have marked this and the candle is closed in case of 4 hour you want to drop down to 5 minute time frame and in case if you are using a daily time frame you want to drop down to 1 hour time frame and once you will move down to smaller time frame 5 minute in case of a 4 hour time frame 1 hour in case of a daily time frame the price action is gonna look something like this. So on the 5 minute time frame in case if you are using 4 hour candle and on the 1 hour time frame in case if you are using daily candles. The price action is gonna look something like this. You will have these type of movements on the smaller time frame. So what we need, we need market to make either a move to the upside, creates a fake out which means take out all the liquidity and after sweeping all the liquidity, sellers to make strong movement to the downside, wait for a retest, take a trade and target the lows. Or it can be for the sell side as well, wait for the market to make a fake out here, takes out all the liquidity, comes back again with buyer strength, wait for the retest of this area, takes the trade and target the highs. Now, there is one very important thing that I want to mention when you will see this price action we do not want a wick inside this fake out we want a proper candle to go and create a fake out then buyers to come back again and same case we do not want a wick instead we want a proper candle to close higher than this makes a fake out then wait for the retest and take the entry so let me show you four examples so you will be able to understand it perfectly now here on this chart it's a euro us dollar 4 hour time frame you can see that we have a big bearish candle and after that the second candle is a bullish candle now if we look at this candle it's definitely inside the first candle the high of second candle is not bigger than the high of first candle and the low of second candle is not bigger than the low of first candle so we can simply just mark the areas of high and low of this candle and the next step we need to go down to five minute time frame and on the five minute time frame we are gonna wait until we see market to make a fake out either to the upside or to the downside then a retest and we can take the trade. So as you can see here the buyers have clearly went higher than the high of the second candle. The candle is now closed above that so we are just gonna wait until we see some seller strength and then we can take the trade from this area. Now sellers definitely came down but we are still not lower than the high of the second candle. So we need sellers to first come lower than the high of the second 4 hour candle, close the candle lower than this then we will wait for the retest. Now we can definitely see that this candle on the 5 minute time frame it definitely closed lower than this high area that we have marked and we have definitely made a fake out. So we are gonna wait until the market retest this area. We can place our trade here, put our stop loss just above this fake out and our target at the low of the 4 hour candle. So as you can see that our entry has been executed. So let's see how this trade will play. So you can see how well it performed and I am telling you guys this strategy works literally more than 80% of the times. I have back tested this strategy so many times and I want you guys to back test this strategy and let me know in the comment section as well what's your opinion after you will back test it. Now the target has been hit we have got more than 2.82 risk to reward ratio trade. Now what I meant that we do not want a wick at the fake out that was the thing I was talking about you can see market made a strong movement to the downside before this candle closed it was definitely a proper fake out but when it closed there is this wick 
So we are not going to consider this fake breakout because we need proper market structure. We need a proper fake out candles to close either higher than the high of 4 hour candle or lower than the low of 4 hour candle. Then sellers to come down again aggressively and we can take the trade at the retest. And our target is going to be the next liquidity area. So that was the first example. Stick around as we are going to see some more examples of this ICT strategy. So here you can see that we have this strong seller's candle and the second candle is inside the first candle. The high of second candle is lower than the high of first candle and the low of second candle is lower than the low of first candle. So we are going to simply just mark the high and low of the second candle. And then we will drop to 5 minute time frame because we are on the 4 hour time frame right now. So let's move down to 5 minute time frame and on the 5 minute time frame this is the high of the second 4 hour candle and this is the low of the second 4 hour candle. So we're gonna see how will we get a fake out then we will look for the trade opportunity. Now as we have this big buyers movement the candle definitely closed higher than the 4 hour high. So we need sellers now to come down aggressively then we will take the trade from the retest area. So now the sellers they have definitely came down with some strength. So we're gonna take the trade after the retest put our stops above the fake out and our target at the next liquidity sell area. So as now our trade has been executed so let's see how it will play out. Now you can definitely see that the trade has performed and we have got more than 4.37 risk to reward ratio from this trade. Now there is definitely another fake out here. The sellers came down, the candle closed lower than the 4 hour candles low and now the buyers have came up with a lot of strength. So we can expect if the market comes to retest this area, we can take the trade, put our stops here and our target at the next liquidity buy area. But this time we never really got any trade opportunity as now the buyers have started to continue. So let's move on to our third example. So in our third example we have the Euro Japanese yen pair on the daily time frame. So it means after we will mark the high and low of the second candle we need to go down to one hour time frame instead of the five minute time frame. So here we have this big buyer candle and the next candle after that we can see the high of the second candle is lower than the high of the first candle and the low of the second candle is definitely lower or smaller than the low of the first candle. So we're gonna mark the high and low of the second candle here and after we mark these areas we're gonna go down to one hour time frame and on the one hour time frame we're gonna wait until we get a proper fake out which will tell us that the market has liquidated a lot of positions. Then we will wait for the market to retest that level. We will take the trade and target the next liquidity area. So now you can see that buyers have definitely came a little higher than the high of the daily candle that we have, the second daily candle, which is right here. The buyers are definitely higher than that. So let's see if we will make a proper fake out and sellers will come down with some strength or not. So, so far there are no proper sellers. And now we can see after this fake out sellers made a strong movement to the down. So we're gonna place our trade here and we're gonna wait until the market will retest this area. We will place our stops above this fake out and we will target the next sellers liquidity zone. So as you can see the precision of this strategy. It was executed right at the area where we put our trade and now the market is making a movement towards our take profit. And boom we have our take profit here. It has hit our take profit and we can definitely see that right after this trade sellers made a strong movement to the downside. The one hour candle it closed lower than the low of the second daily candle and the buyers then came with a lot of momentum. We can definitely place a trade here because we want a retest put our stops lower than the fake out and our target at the next liquidity area which is this the buyers liquidity area. So let's see how this trade will play out and you can see how well this trade performed. So on the same chart at the same time we caught two different trades one for the sell side with over 11.04 risk reward ratio trade the next one was for the buy side and we had more than 8.11 risk to reward ratio trade and we are on the one hour time frame because we find the candles on the daily time frame. So now let's move on to our next example and see the precision of this strategy that how simple and easy this strategy is and how well it works. So in this example 
which is going to be our last example we have this seller scandal and the next candle after that it is inside this big seller scandal the low of the second candle is smaller or lower than the low of the first candle and the high of the second candle is lower than the high of the first candle so we're gonna mark the high and low of the second candle and after we mark these areas we are gonna go down to one hour time frame because we are now looking at these candles on the daily time frame so let's move down to one hour time frame and on the one hour time frame this is the highest area and that's the lowest area. So we're just gonna wait until the market makes a fake out either to the upside or to the downside. Then we want the seller strength in case of the buyer's fake out or retest from the market so we can take the trade. Or a buyer's strength in case of the seller's fake out then a retest to this low of the daily second candle and we can take the trade target the next liquidity area. So we have a week here so we're not gonna consider it because we need a proper candle to close lower than the low of the second candle on the daily time frame. So on the one hour time frame we have a week we do not have a proper fake out yet. So we can now definitely see that we have the buyers to make a fake out. So what we want we want sellers to come lower than the high of the second daily candle and once they will come down with a lot of strength we need a retest at this area then we can target the next sellers liquidity zone. So sellers they are definitely now lower than the high so we are gonna place our trade at this area put our stops above the fake out and our target at the area from where we can expect the next seller's liquidity. So let's see how this trade will play. Now the trade has been executed. Now look at the precision of the strategy again. This time we are targeting more than 3.05 risk to reward ratio trade and the sellers they have started to make a movement in our favor and voila we have got a decent profit from this trade as well and we got more than 3.05 risk to reward ratio trade so that is the simplest ict trading strategy that you are ever going to need let me know in the comment section once you will back test it i want you guys to tell me how well your back tested results are and if you guys have any question let me know in the comment section as well i will see you in the next video thank you for watching if you have not yet consider subscribing and press the notification bell. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Peace out.